Hi folks, it's Larry Heather here again. Twitter handle at Calgary Senate in Calgary, Alberta, Canada. And I'm here today to talk about the revisions, November 2016, of the Community Standards Bylaw in, Canada, in Calgary. rather. And uh, there's something quite disturbing actually about the revisions to the distribution of printed literature. Uh, things that go in people's mailboxes. Now you've probably seen something similar to this. Uh, absolutely no unsolicited mail, no junk mail, please save the trees, etc. And, et and uh, these have been distributed over several decades in various states of fading or various groups and causes that have promoted this. Uh, but the standards bylaw promotes now, they've already banned commercial literature on these type of boxes with a sticker. Now they want to go for non-commercial, uh, for non-profit organizations, for charities, for food banks, for anything that uh, is not a agency of the state or in a community association approved distribution. So this is a big problem. It's coming up to Calgary City Council on uh, November 28th, Monday, and they're going to pass this if there's not a lot of opposition. At committee, at Social Services Committee, it passed 8 to 0. So they didn't really think about it. This is what it says. No person shall deposit a flyer on or at a premises where a sign or notice has been posted, which is clearly visible at the entrance, of a dwelling unit indicating that such flyers are not wanted. And then uh, no distributor shall distribute or cause to be distributed. So there's two categories here. There's people that actually put the printed material into the mailbox and there's those who have printed up the material and given it to somebody to distribute. Now the maximum fine for putting in a mailbox is $100. So if you're a uh, Cubs troop is uh, having a bottle drive and your young child puts this literature, this notice of a bottle drive into the mailbox, uh, $100 fine. If you're the one, if you're the parent who printed up the notice on your photocopier at home, a $300 fine. So potential $400 fine for putting a piece of printed material in a neighbor's mailbox. That's double indemnity, folks. That means charge twice for the same so-called crime or offense. Now, why is this a problem? Um, it, it gives exceptions. Now, they're going to be really nice. They're going to give exceptions to these fines to put uh, literature in a stickered mailbox. Uh, if you're an election candidate during an election when the writ has been dropped, so uh, Greg Miller, uh, Jeremy Farkas, uh, currently campaigning a year ahead of time for the municipal election for councilmen. I'm sorry, if you put uh, literature in a mailbox, fine. You probably printed it to double fine. So uh, no distribution of literature door to door for candidates if you happen to have that sticker on a mailbox. Uh, newspapers that are paid will be allowed to be distributed to mailboxes of such nature. If it's a sample paper, a fine. Uh, community associations and newspapers, okay, they'll let you put those in, but of course, if you're not with that group or don't have time to get permission and go through a two-month committee approval uh, process, uh, I'm sorry, you'll get a fine if you don't get it through in time to the community association. Uh, circulars produced by federal, provincial, or municipal government, and then members of city council, the legislature of Alberta, or the federal parliament. So who gets to distribute literature to every door? Agents of the state only. And community associations, a type of agency of the state. So you have a absolute restriction so this little baby here i'll just read the print this is really what the sticker should say absolutely no unsolicited mail 
This Calgary household and all therein explicitly reject Article 19 of the Universal Declaration of Human Rights, Freedom of Opinion and Expression. Neighbors placing any printed material in our mailbox will be reported to and fined by the Banana Republic of Calgary Censorship Department for daring to exercise your freedom of speech and expression as guaranteed under the Canadian Charter. Now, uh, there's a quote that I've updated. The postmodern George Orwell, if he were alive today, he might say this. He said something very similar when he wrote in his day. If socialism means anything at all, it means the denial of the right to tell people what they do not want to hear. So, folks, because a pro-life group put out graphic literature that included the picture of your member of parliament and then the other side a picture of an aborted baby. Now isn't that the most horrible thing that could ever happen except for what happened to the baby? And if what the picture portrays is so awful that your family shouldn't see it, that you shouldn't see it, maybe we should stop the practice of which the picture portrays. So here we, and you may say, uh, I don't believe you, Larry. I don't, I don't believe in protecting unborn children. I think it's the right of a woman to choose. Well, choose to do what is the question. But put that aside for just one second. All of the other distributors it might not be, it might be the food bank. It might be those people who, um, put bags for clothing distribution or food bank uh, distribution, fine. It's printed material because it says food bank on it or whatever, clothing depot, whatever. Fine, you're going to get a fine. Uh, if you are having a block party and you want to invite your neighbors and you put them in stickered boxes, a fine. If you just want to get your to know your neighbors, you're the welcoming wagon, and you go to a new house, and there's new family there, but they're not home, and you put a little business card in saying, Welcome Wagon, you're going to get fined for doing this because you're not an agency of the state. You didn't get approval from the uh, community association. Uh, of course, all of these restrictions on freedom of speech uh, make it virtually impossible. It, it creates an atmosphere of fear about communicating with your neighbor just because they put a sticker on their box as if that means I have a right to cut myself off from all democratic discourse with my neighbors just because I have a chip on my shoulder or I don't like big sheaths of uh, advertising material you, you, whatever the moment you start getting the city of Calgary to enforce this for you the city is violating the Canadian Charter of Human Rights, the Charter of Rights and Freedoms, because they are becoming an agent of stopping your neighbor from expressing their free speech or expression of speech in the printed form to you. So I would ask you to phone your counselor as soon as you can. Tell them do not, do not vote for these provisions in the Community Standards Bylaw restricting the distribution of printed material. I guarantee you, you may think all these other groups, you don't want to hear from them. So forget about it. Don't even worry about the restrictions. But there's going to be an issue someday. It could be environmental, could be political, could be uh, social, whatever. It might even be something about health. Or, but you're, you're, you want to distribute it, you want to get it to every door. Well, I'm sorry, they passed this, and now there's a veil of fear over the city of Calgary. I ask you to phone your counselor, phone the mayor, and tell them on the 28th of November, do not pass this. Do not, because you're making a huge mistake. Yes, it might restrain temporarily the pro-life literature until it's challenged in the court inevitably and overturned. Meanwhile, the... City solicitors saying, oh, we checked it all out and we'll, we'll defend it in court. Yeah, but they're not paying their own money, are they? They're using your money, the taxpayer, to do it. So I just ask you, you know, what are you going to end up with 
you're going to end up with a city of Calgary like this. You know, they'll paint a smile. They'll do a citizen satisfaction survey and whatever. And they can distribute this to every box. But don't you dare uh, do it yourself or you're going to get fined. Thank you very much. Larry Heather at Calgary Senate.